The 222 thugs, popularly known as Endaba in Kano State, are here to embrace the amnesty initiative introduced by the Nigeria Police Force in the state. About three months ago, the Kano State Police Command invited some identified individuals believed to be behind the escalation of thuggery and other heinous crimes in the state for dialogue. The meeting yielded a positive response as some of the thugs embraced the initiative. Among the 222 repentant talks, 50 of them drawn from Dala, Fege, Ungugu, Kano Municipal and Gwale local government area of the state having completed a two-month intake training as members of the Nigerian Police Special Constabulary were decorated. They pledge to promote peace in the state and promise not to go back into Togri. I am among the 50 people who were trained and absorbed into the Nigerian police force, and I am prepared to play my part to ensure that Kano is peaceful. We will go around the state and continue to preach peace to the people so as to keep the state safe. While welcoming the repentant talks into the society, the Commissioner of Police, CP Mohamed Gumel, debunked reports making round that the police is recruiting talks as its personnel. He says the amnesty initiative is only aimed at sustaining peace in the state. As of today, the police command has received a total of 222 influential youth and are committed to crime prevention duties with the police to push out violent criminals among them, notorious thugs popularly known as Endaba, who over the years engaged in supremacy conflict, Pat Endaba, as we call it. The governor of the state, Abba Yusuf, who gave a rousy welcome to the repentant thugs, urged them to be good ambassadors of the state. From the day they surrendered, they have been subjected to a series of reformatory forces. They have undergone lectures from psychologists and other experts in human behaviorism. And by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are going to give them all the necessary encouragement. But the move has generated uproar online as some of the repentant talks who is said to be a notorious criminal, recently declared wanted by the police. Nasir Abdullahi, popularly known as Chile Midoki, is among the new recruits. Some critics kicked against his inclusion and denounced the entire amnesty program. But while defending the move by Kano State, the police force spokesman, Muiwa Dejobi said, and I quote, they are not policemen, I was told, and it has been in the news that they are repentant individuals who have been mobilized into the Costabulary Scheme of Kano State. The Costabulary Scheme is not police, but a community-based initiative. With the integration of these 222 repentant talks into the society, residents of Kano hoped that the amnesty program would address the incessant crimes in the state. Ayo Adinaye, Arise News Kano.